So I'm going to start with the first slide. Uh, this is uh, because of the time paucity, I will not take much of your time. This is uh, just uh, general on the waste management, how, how much waste is generally uh, generated in the country. How, and uh, as per the IIT Kanpur study, uh, the 25% of the air pollution is due to the particulate matter and mainly generating due to the burning of the waste. Then how it is... Uh, Emission, it is uh, increasing the greenhouse gases and as per WHO, World Health Organization, about 22 diseases are caused by the solid waste. These are our Pan India operations. We are about 10 states. We are working in the solid waste sector, managing about 15,000 tons per day of waste. This is the island of model. I would like to just uh, detail on this, how the waste is collected transported and then the biodegradable waste that is the biodegradables are going to composting site and the malba that is the construction and demolition waste that is going to the construction and demolition waste management facility. I'll come to uh, the detail of the, this facility after the composting the municipal solid waste is converted into the compost it is packaged and it is go, uh, going to the uh, that is uh, farmers or, or urban uh, terrace gardens also. The malba which is processed in the CND waste management facility from uh, there the beautiful tiles I think some of you sorry some of you must have seen in our stall, uh, stall also the tiles, the curbstone, manufactured sand, etc., which are produced and they are up to, they are matching the BIS standards of Government of India. Now, the inner, uh, the combustibles are gone, uh, going to the waste to energy plant and the uh, very, uh, that is uh, about 10 to 15 percent rejects, but whatever is there, that is going to the landfill. Uh, that is the Okla plant, the first plant in the world which was issued carbon credits and it is in Delhi, Okla. It comes into the South Delhi Municipal Corporation, as all of you must be aware. Delhi is divided into three uh, 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 municipal corporations, South Delhi, North Delhi, and East Delhi. Fortunately, we have got, uh, we have got uh, projects in all the three municipalities. So I'm not going into the detail. The slide shows you all. This is the waste to energy Ghazipur plant. The, again, the first in this is the Euronorm compliant plant in the country. If the PM level, the particulate matter level as per CPCB standard is 30 and as per Euro norms it is 10, our, from our plant it is 2, less than 10. So we are the only one that is the first plant in the country complying to this Euro norm. This is the construction and demolition waste management facility which was first again in the country established at the place called Burari in North Delhi Municipal Corporation. Uh, look, uh, that is area, and uh, here these are the products, curbstones, tiles, beautiful tiles, and uh, these tiles are being used by many um, big, uh, like uh, senior officials in Delhi in their houses also, so they meet all the standards. This is the same model which I was just uh, informing you or telling. This is the model which we are going to create in Varanasi. Already we are doing the ghat cleaning, waste collection, that is door-to-door -door waste collection, sweeping in 14 wards in the city. Now this waste is transported and going to Karsida composting plant. This was the defunct facility which was started last year and we are operating and maintaining this facility. From there, the compost which is going, which is compost, which is packaged in Indogal fertilizer packs because they are off-taking it and the RDF is being off-taken by ACC. Now, again, the CNT plant is coming up in Varanasi. Uh, maybe I can say the first in Uttar Pradesh, which is going to be again, um, this project will come in another eight to nine months. This is cleaning of ghats, just pictorial representation I have given. How it was earlier and now, what are the differences? Some beautification, some malba cleaning also. This is the urban kalash we have put if, uh, so that people can just put their flowers whatever they are in the kalash and it is not going into the river. And this is the 14 wards uh, integrated solid waste management. That is, we are doing here 14 wards, that is the old city locations, 14 wards which are adjoining the Ganga River. 
and I will just share with this picture how the this one Shivala Kudaghar on, on in all the 14 wards we are managing with one Kudaghar. Earlier uh, it was about uh, eight or seven Kudaghar. Now we have converted into one Kudaghar we are managing, and it was earlier like this, and now this is the now this is the present uh, picture. We are maintaining all the real-time monitoring system we have, like attendance, vehicle tracking system. And uh, in fact, uh, we have developed the GIS map. I have not covered here, but we have developed the GIS map with all the layers of uh, giving all the road obstructions, how the Tata AS is moving, tipper is moving, where the compactor is going, where are the dust been placed, etc. This is the Karsada compost, uh, composting plant. Here, I have already explained, we are managing about 650 tons of waste per day since October 2016. This facility, which I told, it is going to be coming up in Varanasi. Already, we are in the process of signing the concession agreement with Varanasi Naganigam. These are the products, and all this explained that uh, facility will be coming at Karsada, and we are going to process about 200 tons per day of Malba waste coming from the municipal area. Uh, I would like to share this uh, initiative which ILNFS Environment has taken up with our parent group, that is ILNFS, that is mainstreaming the rack pickers. In our Ga Ghazipur plant, about the rack pickers we, who were working in the, in the dump yard, we have employed about 170 rack pickers and we have skilled the women folk into the art, what they are doing. They take, they collect the wounded flower and they convert it into different products. So this is what has been represented here, the journey of, journey of rack pickers to artisans and entrepreneurship.